every day during the State Fair, and TV was pleased to bring you a daily 4-H update, highlighting the work of some outstanding young people across the state. And we also spoke with the Dean of Extension for the University of Nebraska. Okay, joining you right now is Chuck Hibbert, and he's the Dean of UNL Extension. And thank you so much for joining us, by the way. Um, we've been speaking about 4-H all week. Uh, kind of give us a wrap about how it went, how everything went with 4-Hers. So we've had a great uh, in, uh, Nebraska State Fair. It's just mm -hmm. been super to be here, and, and uh, the 4-H program is stronger than ever. Uh, you know, every year, and, and this year's no exception, we have about 5,000 4-H youth here that are doing their exhibits, uh, either their livestock or in the 4-H hall, uh, and over 12,000 exhibits. So this is a, an incredible showcase for young people, for Nebraska young people in 4-H. And where were most of the 4-H kids from? You know, really all over Nebraska, and that's a that's kind of a misnomer. Some people think that all our 4-Hers come from rural areas. We yeah. have 28,000 4-H youth in Omaha, you know, so these are kids yeah. from all over the state doing all different kinds of projects and, and benefiting from it. And how important is the State Fair platform for them? You know, the, the State Fair is like the Olympics. It's the <laughs> showcase. You know, people uh, bring their bring their kids to the State Fair to see what's going on, to learn about things, and, and they learn a lot from the 4-H exhibits. But these uh, young people involved in 4-H, one of the great things that happens here is they get to compete. They mm -hmm. compete with the best of the best. And so it's an opp opportunity for them to learn how to win and learn how to lose, and that's important in life. It's a life yeah. skill that we really, really stress in 4-H. The best of the best, the really. The best of the best. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, how old are most 4-H'ers again? So most 4-H'ers that would be involved here are age 8 through 18. Okay. So they have about 10 years to be involved in 4-H. And okay. a lot of young people are active all 10 years. Mm -hmm. Um, so how was how was it overall the competitions? I know there were different educational programs. There were different competitions. Um, what do you think some of the highlights were for them? Well, you know the the livestock shows are always a real highlight, and and uh, because the competition is so fierce, we have great livestock in Nebraska, and the fact that we engage young people in the process of learning how to produce, how to you know how to own and care for and be responsible for an animal, uh, it, we have really really good quality stock. So the com uh, the competition is absolutely amazing. And you know, I, I had a chance to meet a lot of these kids throughout the week, and I know they also learn from one another. They do. Right? They do. Um, talk a little bit about that. Well, you know, when you talk Especially because... Yeah, the the uh, the four H youth really do work together. They learn from each other. Uh, when you talk to young people involved in four H, you ask them what's the best time of the year. What's the county fair? It's a state <laughs> fair. It's when they spend time together. Yeah. They learn from each other. They help each other. So they compete fiercely in the ring, but outside mm -hmm. of the ring, they work together and help each other a lot. And they did have a new building this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. So let me tell you just really <laughs> briefly about this. Actually, the new building is being constructed as we speak. Uh, this is uh, the Ag Building, Nebraska Ag building and uh, there's 25,000 square feet that will be a learning exhibit space for fairgoers and for people throughout the year who want to know about Nebraska agriculture, how we produce food in safe, economical, wholesome, and environmentally sensitive ways. So it's a very exciting project. You'll have to be here next year to see it open. Yeah, where exactly is that going to be? It's uh, it's in that open space just south of the 4-H exhibit hall, in, and it, uh, it lays to the north and south. So Game and Parks will be in there, University of Nebraska will be in there, Nebraska State Department of Agriculture, and a lot of our commodity group cool. friends. Okay, and how important is that going to be for them? Well, it's really important. You know, people uh, people have a lot of questions these days. Mm -hmm. Consumers have a lot of questions. They they want to make sure that they, you know, when they go to the grocery store or the uh, local market that they're buying safe and wholesome food, and they want to know how it's produced. And, and uh, there's a lot of misunderstandings about that. So this is really an opportunity to not just set the story straight. That's not really the point. The point is to help people understand how we produce food and, and what all goes into it, how we manage water, how we reduce the use of pesticides, all those kinds of things that are really important in food production today. And like you said, year round, right? Take advantage of that building year round. Absolutely. You know, it's it's uh, one of the buildings here at the State Fair where we're going to have that opportunity to engage people all 12 months of the year. Very exciting. All right, Chuck with UNL Extension, thank you so much for being here. Many of you sounded off about your favorite parts of the State Fair. You can watch those videos on our website, Nebraska.tv. And from our NTV family to yours, we say thank you. 
You're the reason we do special broadcasts like this and the reason we bring you 11 days of live coverage during the Nebraska State Fair. Marilyn and I look forward to meeting even more of you at Husker Harvest Days. But before we close tonight, we bring you some highlights from the Parade of Grand Champions on Labor Day at the Nebraska State Fair. Good night.